What is sin? The wages of sin is death. But there is a way to come out of the sin, the death. WHO is the way. We will see now what is sin, how sin entered into man's life, and who committed the first sin. 1. What is sin? According to the human theory violation of any law is liable for punishment. Law came into existence to regulate the living conditions of the human race. There are conventional laws, unwritten laws and written laws. Whatever be the nature of the law, when it is violated there are certain punishments. The punishments are not intended to destroy or perish those who violated the law, but it is only to correct those who have gone against the law either unwillingly, willingly or by mistake. Therefore, sin is an act of violation of law or the principles which regulates the living conditions of human beings. Sin is directly related to the human beings, but not related to any other creations. The punishment for the sin depends upon the nature of sin, the degree of harm that was done due to the violation of law. If the degree of harmfulness is exceedingly high the nature of punishment will be the severe most. If the degree of harmfulness due to violation of law or committing sin is less harmful the nature of punishment will be of small. Thus, if one does a harmful act by violation of human law, he has to face the equal amount of harmfulness as punishment. Tit for tat, an eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Life for life are the terms of punishments for the crimes against human beings. It is the natural law that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Therefore, if one commits a sin, he is liable for punishment, according to the nature of sin. Any act by a man against another man is termed as crime. The same act is termed as sin against God. The reason is man is the creation of God. Therefore, any act of violation of law against another man or the creator God is sin. To how sin entered into man? According to the world history the book, Our World History, written by C. E. Black, Professor of History, Princeton University the period beyond BC 5000 is called as prehistoric period. Accordingly, History starts from BC 5000. According to history the civilization started in the Nile Valley from Egypt. The Egyptians were the first to start the calendar. It was Moses whom God had chosen to give the Ten Commandments at Mount Sinai on his way from Egypt along with the Israelites, who were under slavery in Egypt under the King Pharaoh and whom were delivered from their captivity by God through this Moses. This Moses was born in Egypt when his parents were under the captivity of the Egyptians. History started from Egypt. Also, the author of the first book of the Bible was a man who was born in Egypt and was brought up by the King Pharaoh of Egypt. He was this Moses. Not only the first book of the Bible was written by Moses, but also the first five books of the Bible 1. Genesis 2. Exodus, 3. Leviticus, 4. Numbers, 5. Deuteronomy were written by this Moses. Besides, God himself had made the two slabs out of stone and he himself had written the Ten Commandments i.e. the first God made human law was written and handed over to this Moses at Mount Sinai which is at a very short distance from Egypt. History started from Egypt, the author of the first five books of the Bible was from Egypt, the Ten Commandments, the God made human law was also written at Metricton Sinai near Egypt. When Moses got the Ten Commandments, he was at the age of 80. He was the son of Amram, he was born in the tribe of Levi, Levi was the son of Jacob, Jacob was the son of Abraham, Abraham was the son of Terah. Terah was the son of Naya, Naya was the son of Serug, Serug was the son of Riu, Riu was the son of Peleg, Peleg was the son of Iba, Iba was the son of Salah, Salah was the son of Erfexad, Erfexad was the son of Shane, Shane was the son of Noah, Genesis 11, 10-26. Noah was the son of Lamech, 
Lamech was the son of Methuselah. Methuselah was the son of Enoch. Enoch was the son of Jared. Jared was the son of Mahalalil. Mahalalil was the son of Kainan. Kainan was the son of Enos. Enos was the son of Sek. Sek was the son of Adam. Adam was created by God. Genesis 5, 1-30. This the genealogy from Adam to Moses. From the days of Moses from Egypt to the days of Adam at Garden Eden the history of the world goes 4000 BC to 4500 BC. The history during this period was revealed to Moses by God himself at Metricton Sinai when he called Moses and Moses was with God for 40 days, day and night for the first time and 40 days, day and night for the second time. Therefore God revealed to him about the past and he was able to write about the genesis of the world, the creation of heaven and earth, the creation of man and the previous history of men from the first man Adam and up to his, Moses, death, and thus he authored the books from Genesis to Deuteronomy the first five books of the Bible. During this time God spoke to Moses directly, whatever God told Moses he had written. God himself prepared two stone slabs. The finger of God wrote in these slabs the commandments of God which was given to Moses at Metricton Sinai are the Ten Commandments. There God gave the commandments and the laws to Moses. He gave the law of central sanctuary, law of idolatry, law of food, law of administration, law of warfare, law of witnesses, law of marriage and all kinds of civil and criminal laws. All these laws were given to the mankind through Moses. Thus, violation of laws, commandments of God is sin. 3. WHO committed the first sin. According to the first book of Moses, Genesis, the forefather of Moses, the ancestral head of mankind, the first man in the universe, God made man Adam who was created by God himself violated the commandments of God he obeyed the words of the serpent and ate the fruit of the forbidden tree, thus committed sin against God. He disobeyed God, and obeyed the deceiving words of the serpent, thus he lost his immortality and death entered into him through him sin entered into mankind and the entire human race is subjected to death lost their immorality. Thus, sin entered into mankind. 4. Consequences The Wages of Sin The first man Adam was created by God in his own image, in the image of God. The Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. Genesis 2, 7 But when this man disobeyed the commandments of God fear entered into him. He and his wife hid themselves amongst the trees of the garden. When God called them they were afraid to hear his voice. Thus sin separated man from God. They felt they were naked. He had to reap the reward for his act of disobedience sin. God said to Adam, Cursed is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. So, death entered into the first man who committed the first sin. Thus the wages of sin is death. When the first man committed sin, one fear entered into man. Two, they were afraid to hear the voice of God. Three, honor and glory left them and they became naked. For the earth was cursed. Five, sorrow entered into their life. Six, death entered into their life. Seven, because of curse he has to work hard to earn his bread thus he got sweat in his life. Eight, as he was cursed to death his members of body have to undergo wear and tear. Thus, he has undergone pain in his body. Nine, as the earth was cursed, he has to suffer a lot to till, sow and reap to get his daily bread as he was chased out of the Garden of Eden where he got his food without any effort. Thus, sufferings ruled his life. 10. As he was cursed to death his body has to decay gradually through the process of sickness. Thus, 
He was possessed by different sicknesses, and finally he has to become dust out of which he was taken. But God had sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ into this world, to save us from sickness, pain, poverty, curses, death. Through him we receive eternal life. We the Christians who have accepted Jesus Christ as our God, we are already assured eternal life. God has given us forgiveness of sin. Jesus Christ paid the wages for our sin. He died for us and relieved us from the eternal punishment of death, the hell from our life. Thus, we are the blessed one in this world. Those who have not yet received forgiveness of sins give yourselves to Jesus Christ so that Jesus Christ may remit your sins, wash your sins through his blood and get out of your sinful life and escape the penalty of death and receive eternal life, immortal life after we die and leave this world. We will see who is certain in our next message. Thank you for watching. Share and subscribe to others, so that you may save a person from his sinful life and make him to receive eternal life. Share to your family members, friends, and relatives and increase your wealth in the kingdom of God. God bless you.